Now I can tell you the Lancaster Opera House already great reviews wrapping up a great season with a wonderful musical Annie. And I am telling you, it is something artistic director David Bondro is here to tell us all about it. David, you've gotten rave reviews from everybody, and there's still another weekend to go and see it, right? Yes, we have two performances today, 2.30, 7.30, tomorrow for Father's Day with Daddy Warbucks, Little Orphan Annie, any dad with a daughter, it's the perfect oh. treat. And then we round out uh, last, last weekend, a week from, uh, weekend from now, uh, Friday, two shows on Saturday, and one more Sunday show. How great to have a show like this to finish up your season. It's, it's, been, it's the perfect <laughs> finale. We've done a whole season where, you know, with the Diary of Anne Frank and Nine to Five, the musical. Mm -hmm. We've been exploring all of the different political issues that are currently happening in this country and all the different voices. Mm. And now we end with a show that says, no matter whether you're a wealthy Republican <laughs> billionaire or a little orphan with nothing, we can find ways to work together. I love it. And, and who plays Annie? Annie, local girl, uh, Tiffany Nowak. She is perfect. A little 12-year-old redhead uh, who just lights up the stage and sings beautifully and fights her way through New York in 1933. Oh. And she steals the show as well as Sandy the dog. Sandy the dog. Sandy <laughs> the dog is particularly amazing. The, our, our Sandy is, uh, the dog's real name is Sandy. Isn't that something? And it's a, a dog from one of our cast members. And so, so the much, dog's an actor the, too. The dog is a perfect <laughs> actor. We were talking about this yep. wonderful production number called NYC where uh, Mr. Warbucks takes Annie throughout New York and they keep missing the dog. And at the very end, the dog walks out and <laughs> looks around like he's searching <laughs> for Annie and then keeps going. The dog is a star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the kids must love this too. Kids love this show. We have yeah. a special ten dollar uh, student rate for students of all ages, uh, and that's our children's rate too. So it's perfectly well priced. Bring the whole family. It's a great treat. You know, David, you really have to give yourself an A plus for this season. You really picked a lot of shows that everybody came to that was very, very well attended. And now, I mean, you're just finishing on top with Annie. Yeah, it's uh, and the reviews have said yeah. it. Uh, in in certain ways, both reviewers have said, "Oh, we've seen Annie," you know, seven times. 12 times too many times but they said that they're connecting to the humanity and the and the political uh, satire of the time in the show and really finding something they can connect to and it's a full cast gorgeous orchestra our music director Fran Landis does a wonderful job uh, it looks great sounds great you're gonna have a great oh, time there's nothing there, there's nothing better I think than Annie a great you know and you have Mrs. Who's the, the lady from the orphanage? Mrs. Of course, Miss Hannigan. Miss Hannigan, there. yeah. Yeah, she comes out and terrorizes all the, the uh, all the orphans, and uh, we have a wonderful ensemble too that just does a great yeah, job. Yeah, I was gonna say you must have more than one child in this you, because we, Annie yeah. and the orphans. The orphans. We have two sets of orphans because there were so many talented kids that audition, uh, and there are only six orphans used in the show. Uh -huh. So we have a, we have two different casts of orphans. So oh. uh, both sets have just uh, lit up the stage, and for many of them, it's their first time on the stage. Now, David, so what is that like directing children? Um, well, they always say, you know, you, animals you, and children, animals you got and them children, both. <laughs> we got them both. Um, I, you know, don't tell some of the adults, but some of the kids are easier to direct because they just absorb it because mm -hmm. they're so innocent and they and they, they, they have this you. curiosity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the uh, the adult ensemble is is fabulous and they do some great work. Oh, fun! But uh, it was it's been a fun challenge to uh, handle kids. But we have a special uh, a shout out to uh, Lisa Miller who uh, is in the industry. It's an industry term called kid wrangler, uh -huh. and uh, she has been part of the production specifically to help the kids and make sure that they have everything they need and uh, uh, and that they get all. All the notes and things and it's been a great so experience. you have basically two sets of kids we have, so yes so we have two, two different casts of orphans every show. correct right. so that they, they get a little time off mm -hmm. that's amazing and your and your annie once again is who and boy can she sing annie tiffany nowak great shout out she is a trooper 12 years old and uh she excelled you know we we pushed her because i said this is this is your show you are the title character right and she rose to the top an amazing performer it, it's such a familiar show is it okay to sing along of course <laughs> if you're out the, the audience sun will come out right. Hey, tomorrow. tomorrow. I can't sing any more of that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know the show, but you love the show, and your kids are going to love it too. So maybe if you're thinking about taking dad somewhere special, don't forget we've got the Lancaster Opera House. Annie is on stage, and it is their last musical production of the season. They're going out on top. St still time to get tickets, and every seat at the Lancaster Opera House is a good seat. So by all means, go and see it. Call 683-1776 for tickets, 683-1776, or log on to lankopera.org.